the ultimate showdown. Two writers, two fanfiction scripts. And only you can choose which one wins. It's the fanfiction showdown. Hello, welcome to the Fan Fiction Showdown. My name is Ben O'Brien. Uh, we are here live today, uh, um, and we are excited to bring to you the Fan Fiction Showdown. And here's how it works, okay? Two psychopaths uh, that I've known for decades write uh, a fan fiction script um, based along a theme or a, um, a universe, okay? This week, it's Batman. All right, and then they go head to head. We read their scripts, and then you decide who you vote for who did better, and whoever wins. I don't even want to tell you what they get, but it's inc it's insane. Um, so first of all, we since we're reading scripts we, and we have there's multiple parts in script. We have a special guest with us today. I'm super excited for her to be here. Um, an old friend of mine from Baltimore. She's also a famous musician she's in uh the band y oak she's in the band flock of dimes she's in the band bony Vare. please welcome to the show jen wasner hi jen hey hi. hi everybody how's it going good how's uh how's life treating you uh it's weird and lonely uh so thanks for asking me to come and do this thing with you it's <laughs> nice to have some friends <laughs> absolutely i'm so happy uh that we could uh uh you know be your friends for this and evening very desperate so yeah that's great that's a good that's a great place to be i'm also desperate Deeply. um all <laughs> right so uh should shall we introduce the contestants I, me, you asking me? Yeah, I, I guess introduce them. You're yeah. ready? Let's friggin' I mean, it. I want to meet them. Who are they? I've never seen them before. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to really like these people because they're pretty crazy. We'll see. All them. right. First up, our, uh, uh, I want to introduce to you guys. You, if you if you watch the Adult Swim streams, you may know you may know him. He looks kind of like uh, he, he looks kind of like a radio a college radio DJ right now. Let's give it up for Robbie Rackle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you for having having. Uh, it's time for me to win, <laughs> and it's time for Jen to finally get to see how 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 great I can be with writing, with words, with the script. Yes, you've been so waiting, happy that Jen's here. You've been waiting a long time to prove to Jen what you can what you can do. Yes. <laughs> um, cool, Rob. You look great. Uh, can Thanks. You tell us, what's this? What's this vest you're wearing? The vest is a is a way uh, for me to compress the uh, the the beating heart that is in with it that's within me. It's a compression vest, and it holds the heart in. It it keeps the uh, ideas. Uh, at, coming out a, at a measured pace because if it was not, a, if I wasn't wearing the vest, it would be a machine gun of of, of Batman ideas, of script ideas, of okay. and it would so, it would crowd out all other ideas. And I do still feel like it's important the innovation and the competition of the show has to be so retained and protected. You're saying it's essentially like a thunder shirt, something you might put on a small scared dog during a, a thunderstorm. Yes, but for screenwriting. Okay, great. All right. So next we have, uh, I'm really excited uh, to introduce her. She's my second best friend. And uh, she also she, um, right now I'd say she looks kind of like she's kind of trying to secretly stream from a library or something, like not let anyone around her know. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting at this moment. But uh, go ahead. It's Cricket Harrison. Hi, Ben. Um, hello, everyone. Hi, Jen. Hi, everyone watching at home. I'm so excited to be here. I want to clarify that Ben um, meant that I am his second best friend, not that I'm his second best friend. Um, no, no, I mean, I have a best friend and then you are next. So I'm like, you're, I'm your <laughs> second. You could say that I'm your second best friend. And I'm, exactly. I'm really thrilled about that. I'm thrilled to be here. I know it's a competition. And I do hope Robbie loses, but I want to say to him before we start, there were times in my life where I never dreamed that I would have a friend as amazing or as talented as you. And no matter what happens, and I do hope it's that I win, but I just wanted to say I love you, Robbie. 
Um, I mean that. And and you're going down because it's a fan fiction showdown. Yeah, well, uh, Ben, I understand that these uh, script readings are timed, so if that could count against uh, Cricket's time, because she talked for a very long time, and I almost got not to say, I, don't, I didn't get to say anything. I'm okay. sorry, you said I, a lot about your wardrobe, and if right. you look at both of our wardrobes, I think that okay. it's clear who That's should be saying more about okay. her okay. We wardrobe. Got we got it. Okay. okay, so look, this is a good time. If I hold up this card, you guys, this means you have to be quiet. Okay, so that's the sound you hear. That means if, you, if you're not quiet, you get points removed, and it, that will influence how people vote. I don't know how, it just does. Okay, so um, first I want to say incredible display of sportsmanship from both of you. Um, you're both complimentary, and yet the, the tension, the, the, the desire to win, the, the, the true hatred for each other is really coming through as well as... Robbie didn't us. compliment me once. And and that is fine, I, but uh, that is okay. Robbie, do you want to compliment Cricket real quick? No, I don't come to. I don't come. I don't. I'm not here to compliment friends. I am. Sue me. <laughs> okay. In court. Okay. All right. Done. Done with that. So we're going to talk about today's theme a little bit. We're doing Batman. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Batman. He's a cool guy. He's like this rich guy that. Uh, he has a bunch of toys and stuff. He's like a rich white guy that lives in a, an old building. And underneath the building, he put big car and like a giant computer and stuff. And he's got an old man that is obsessed with him that follows him around everywhere and stuff. And so we thought that would be a pretty cool universe to write uh, something kind of, uh, you know, do, you know what I'm, you guys get this, right? I'm just going to check my phone for a second. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so is there, a, uh, we, wait, uh, Robbie, what, you just sent me a, you just sent me something? What is I this? Didn't, I didn't send you anything. You don't have something you're trying to show? No. What is got to, do, do you want me to do, why? Is there something that you want me to show? You just sent me something you, that you said you wanted to show. Well, I don't, you didn't say anything about it, so I didn't know if I should show it. This isn't a showing show, it's a writing show. I well, just okay, be clear. Ben. We're well, not uh, you got anything. it out of me. We're I guess I, I guess we're going to have to show this. Uh, I've made a drawing uh, that complements, I think, the script that I wrote pretty well. It's a Batman script, it's a Batman drawing. Ben. It's not if a drawing. Show show. It, I think I can really show well, it. It's a I think script. I think give me some extra points. Wait, it's, can, oh, can, my God. God. Can we just okay? Wait, I didn't. Yeah, I guess we should. Okay, so we're showing it, Robbie. And, yeah, well, that's what happens when you were not here to compliment friends. And so, Cricket, do you have a drawing or anything? Or no, what? It's a it's a writing show. I wrote I wrote a script. I wrote okay. a beautiful right. script. Okay, I'm not okay, a visual okay. artist. Okay, look, I do look. a lot. I can I I do music. I my house is pretty clean. I. I'm sorry, I didn't see the red card. Batman is a medium, is a is a multi faceted medium. Thank you, Robbie. Ben. I get that those points. Thank you, Robbie. Okay, thank you. All right, look, I didn't know that Robbie was gonna. I didn't understand the picture thing. It kind of happened really quickly, and I, I it doesn't do agree, count. It can't count. Cricket, I do agree with Cricket that it shouldn't count, but also at the same time, it is cool that he drew a picture and it's really good. So, if we can, if people can kind of both forget that that happened because we don't want it to influence the voting, but also at the same time, because it is cool that he did it, if you could keep kind of the essence of that, the feeling of the picture in your heart for Robbie, that would, I think, balance things out correctly. And okay, I we have to move on mm -hmm. because it, this is the fan fiction showdown. It's not to talk about the fan fiction showdown. Okay, so we're gonna move on. We have, there's a certain set of rules, okay? You don't just write a script you got to have rules okay so let's bring up these rules all right here are the rules first overall rules no longer than 10 pages one character must say we're about halfway through okay that usually happens around the halfway point now the specific rules to batman one something goes horribly wrong at a charity event two a disgusting egg egg sandwich three the line off with her head. Four, somebody tries to hand something to Batman, but both his hands are already full. Five, someone plays Russian roulette. Six, Catwoman says just because it feels bad doesn't mean it is bad. Seven, Batman or Bruce hits a table so hard it breaks in half. Eight, Alfred standing in a puddle. That happens. Nine, Alfred says 
Is it what they need, Master Wayne, or is it what you want? Ten, Superman flies overhead. <laughs> those are I just want to say I drew the those Batman the behind those rules. That should be disqualified because okay. if I was going to, I mean, I don't know. All right, uh, just so everyone knows, Cricket drew the Batman behind the rules. Thank you, um, Ben. Okay. Not a, not a color Batman. All right, so why do we have the rules, you might you might wonder. They have to they have to hit all of those rules in their script, or they that's some serious, you know, there's we don't there's no points, but that's points off, you know what I mean? So um, if they get something good in the script, I go like that. And we get a little... Once they hit, once they hit one of the rules, they get one of the rules, I go... Thing. It's great, right? And then I mark it off, and uh, and that equals something. So now we have to figure out who's going to go first. So we're going to do a little coin flip, kind of the classic sports thing. Here we go. Flip it. Oh, I think I'm going to win the coin flip. I just want to say that right now, right at the outset, because uh, I do deserve to win the show. The winner is Robbie. Robbie gets to go first. Oh, That's fine. That's fine. I go last. Home Robbie field advantage. Can can you introduce your script and also let us know uh, who's going to be playing each part? Yes. That, uh, ben, uh, Batman, it's called Batman Future Imperfect. It is a script by Robbie Rackliff, and it is it stars Batman. It stars me as Batman, and I think that it, that just made the most sense, I think, just in terms of the casting for Batman. And it stars Jen Wozner, uh, the very wonderful and talented musician, and performer Jen Wozner as Catwoman, and it also crickets in it as Alfred, who I think we can all say is the old man, the old man who almost is almost dead, just as if uh, Cricket will die during tonight's episode. Alfred's okay. the, the heart of the Batman universe, and I'm the heart of the show. So great. thank you. It's and a ben, if, and Ben, if it's you would be the, if you would do me the great great honor of reading all of the action. I would love uh, to. Within the script, because as you know, the scripts are not just characters and dialogue. They are also actions. I would love to. I would love to. I'd be honored and I would love to. I would um, love you for, for you to and, do that. And just so you know, you're on the timer. So let me know when I can begin and we All will right. begin. This is your time. Okay. You ready? Ready. Yes. Okay. Here we go with Robbie's script. Batman Future and Perfect uh, 2020 by Robbie Rackle. Great. <sighs> Batman, future imperfect, screen turn on, Wayne Manor, Gotham, daytime. Day 10 of day 10 of Gotham being frozen solid by none other than the snowman himself, Mr. Freeze. Batman is really tired because he has been up for 10 days fighting Mr. Freeze. And also, Mr. Freeze is working with Clayface. This is, Bat this is Batman's first line. It's cold. Batman walks over to a nearby table with a giant glass of water on it. Flower vase size, almost. He picks it up. I'm so thirsty. I gotta hydrate before I leave here and fight. Off with their head. That's it. You got one. Batman. Off with their head. No, we already got that. Well, you, you have a line, Ben. Off with their head. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm marking I gotta re read the line a couple times to get it right. And I oh. spit the water out. Batman spits the water out. Oh, the water's so cold it hurt my teeth. Uh, my teeth are sensitive because I haven't had a break to see a dentist or properly keep them clean. In his anguish, Batman smashes the table. The water was on. That's a really good one. With his swollen hands, it breaks the table in half. The swollen hands have made him slightly stronger. Broke a table? What am I now, Superman? Just then, Batman sees Superman fly over Gotham on his way to outer space. Uh, no, I'm not Superman. I'm just a man with sensitive teeth. Superman is Clark Kent. Batman turns around and sees Alfred standing in the puddle of, of water, his, his now smashed glass. Bad news, sir. How could this day get any, possibly any worse? The fight, the ice charity event Bruce Wayne held last night to was reviewed in the society section of the Gotham Globe. <laughs> this society section is on the first page. I don't understand that line. Oh, oh, oh. The Alfred... society section is on the front page of the Gotham Globe. I don't know if I could make it any clearer than the that. The fight, the ice charity event. The fight, the ice charity event. It's a charity event. <laughs> oh, fight, I see. Fight the yeah, ice. Okay, can I take my line again? Yep, go ahead. 
The Fight the Ice charity event Bruce Wayne held last night, too, was reviewed in the Society section of the Gotham Globe. The Society section is on the front page. Alfred hands Batman a newspaper. The headline reads, Worst Event, Worst Worst event to happen in Gotham in recent memory. Batman reads the first few lines. Hmm. While we can sure see the good intention of having Gotham's best and brightest. <laughs> <laughs> punch massive, massive blocks of ice for charity. It wasn't a good idea at all. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out when people punch ice, it makes their hands bleed and then the ice melts blood and water get everywhere and things get worse bruce wayne's big ice punching charity event gets a d we here at the gotham globe society desk can only hope that this doesn't happen anymore <laughs> well Af alfred it seems like we can't get anything right can i at least <laughs> sorry really um can i at least have some breakfast of course, Master Wayne, but even here I must disappoint you because I went ahead and made your favorite breakfast egg sandwich with those nasty, stinky eggs from the back of the fridge. That's a stinky egg sandwich. There you go. Stinky egg sandwich. Greg, I'm great not, job. I'm not going to lie, Alfred. Even though I can tell you dressed it up, even though I can tell you dressed it up with old world herbs and spices, it still smells like you dipped it. In sewer water. Leave it on the table. Very good, sir. <laughs> ah, well, I can't quite do that. Seems it seems that it seems that you've smashed it to pieces. Nice. Yes, it's the uh, it's the cold. You see, it's ma it makes my hands very swollen. With these swollen hands, I. Batman chokes up with his emotions, riddled with memories of his smaller, warmer hands. <laughs> And I you can can't, can't do it. Go ahead. I can see I'm not needed. Wait. Sir? I'm oh. going to eat this fucking egg sandwich if it kills me. I'd recommend you open a window before quaffing that sandwich, sir. It's liable to make you quite ill. Alfred leaves the room. Suddenly, Catwoman appears. But luckily, Batman has still been wearing his mask this whole time, so she doesn't know he's really Bruce Wayne. Batman, you're always in the last place I expect you to be. Selina, always where I expect you to find you. I knew you'd be here. All I had to do was follow the clues. Damn, what is that horrible smell? An egg sandwich made with rotten eggs. Care to try it, or are you just here to steal jewels? <laughs> How about none of the above, Batman? I'm here to kidnap Bruce Wayne. No. Yes. You can't. Well, 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 Batman. It seems like you and me are at a bit of crosswords, you and I. Are uh, a bit of a crossroads. Crossroads. <laughs> crossroads. Crossroads. You and I are at a bit of a crossroads. Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way. Catwoman takes a snub-nosed revolver out of her pocket, puts a single bullet in it, and spins the chamber. <laughs> Selena. What are you doing carrying around a thing like that? That woman smiles and then points the gun at her own head. <laughs> Here's the deal, bad boy. If you don't let me kidnap Bruce Wayne right now, I'm going to pull the trigger. I, I can't let you kidnap Bruce Wayne. That woman pulls the trigger. Click. She survives. And that's Russian roulette. And that's one of the rules. Woo! I feel crazy as hell. You want to let me kidnap Bruce Wayne or what? This is halfway over. Put the gun away. All right. This is where we're going to stop. We're going to take a break right here. This is time for a mid-strip break. Oh, wow. That's All halfway. right. Let's jump over to the chat. Let's see what the chat has been saying. They say, one, DJ NDO says, are they reading chat? Um, and what I have to say to you, DJ NDO, is yes, we are reading chat. You are reading the chat. Um so uh, Emo Kidio wants to know why Catwoman is so evil all of a sudden. Well, because it is uh, Catwoman knows that Batman likes her sometimes, so she's using that against him in order to get what she wants, which I think empowers her. Okay, and then Lyle Chipperson wants to know. He just they just write, "How did Robbie do that?" I don't know what they're referring to, but do you want to take it from there? Well, I just kind of start. I you know I start with a, a couple words like Batman and Gotham and it just sort of carries me through because I can just see that 
And then all I need to know is just figure out like, okay, there's a bunch of people together. They're talking. What are they okay. saying? They could be saying anything and it just is automatic. That's great. That's great. And then oh, this one's for Cricket. Uh, KP Senti, fr friend of the show, says, uh, oh my God, Cricket's outfit is pretty bomb. Thank you, KP. That's very sweet. I appreciate it. But um, it's Robbie's time and, and I don't want to hog it. Yeah. So it, let's get back to Robbie's this counts against Rick script Rick in Rick which Alfred is, is a very underdeveloped character. Thank you, KP Senti. Oh, uh, show, someone named Show Beast says, I still think Robbie's sweater wins. Anyway, we won't get into, we won't get into this. That, that's it. You know what? That's it for the mid-script break. Right. <laughs> Let's get back to the meat of the show. All right. Should I, should I read the last line? Read it, take it from this is halfway over. So I, Batman says, this is halfway over to Catwoman. Put the gun away. She, he's trying to get her to put the gun away. Yeah. Batman makes a grab for Catwoman's gun. She gets a good long look at his swollen hands as she dodges back. Whoa, hands! Batman loses his balance and, fa and falls on his face. Hellfire! At least this whole... Catwoman looks like she's about to laugh but holds it in. Batman lies on the floor for a bit. He tucks his face into the crook of his arm. He's like this. He's like, please put, a please put away the gun! I'm putting it away. Will you please tell me what happened to your hands? They're swollen because it's too cold, and they made me slightly stronger. Like, how many points stronger? I don't know, like two. Did they affect your balance? No, I'm dehydrated. That's why. That's what's throwing me off balance. I tried to drink some water that out that Bruce Wayne's br butler brought me as a gift, but it was too cold and it made my teeth hurt. I smashed the table. I can't kidnap Bruce Wayne, and here you are, drinking his water and smashing his tables. What a world. Here. Catwoman takes some of those little disposable hand warmers out of a pouch attached to her leg. She tears the pouches open and hands them to Batman. Hold these in your hands. One in each hand. There. That's it. Now you're holding both like a pro. Ow. Is it supposed to burn? Does it really burn? No. Just hold them for a minute. Um, just wanted to show you the time. You got nine. We got nine minutes, forty-four seconds left. Oh yeah. Okay. Bat Batman and Catwoman stay silent for a minute. During this minute, we see Batman's hands visibly shrink, but they still seem unnaturally large. Can I hold your gun? Why not? This day can't get any worse. Catwoman holds the gun out to Batman. Batman looks at the at the for gun, a full. At the gun. At the gun for at a full, gun, minute. full minute. You it can, doesn't, you it can, doesn't say that. It does say that. No. Um, it no. Cricket, Cricket's it right. It doesn't say that. I have to read it how it is. Batman yeah. holds the gun out to. I'm sorry. Catwoman holds the gun out to Batman. Batman looks at for a full minute and puts <laughs> his head back on the floor. I can't hold your gun. My hands are full of hand warmers. <laughs> I shouldn't be handing out my gun anyway. My hands are turds. They're just swollen. No, they're bad. Just because it feels bad doesn't mean it is bad. Nice. When you say it, it, do you mean both of my hands? <laughs> Batman, <laughs> Batman, Batman and Catwoman both laugh for a long time. Can I say <laughs> that line again, Ben? Which one? The line that I said before the action. Yeah. I, I said it it's, wrong. It's your time, buddy. So it's like how a woman says just because it feels bad doesn't mean it is bad. And then when I say, and I meant to say, when I, when you say it, as in the word it, do you mean both of my hands? And that's what makes us laugh. Okay. Ah, I get it now. Okay. Okay. Batman, okay. Batman and Catwoman both laugh for a long time. <sighs> Catwoman fires her gun in, in the air because she's laughing so hard. It's it. And that makes Batman laugh even harder. The sound of the gunfire going off has alerted Alfred. He comes barging into the room. Finally. Um, <clears throat> Master w Oh, Batman! I thought Bruce Wayne was in here. My mistake. Big house. Ah, I see you've brought along Catwoman. Well, I'd better hide the family china. No bother, Alfred. I was just leaving. Tell Mr. Wayne he can sleep easy tonight, because I'm not going to try kidnapping him at all. Splendid news. Before you leave, may I offer you a 
May I offer you a glass of warmed up water? You see, I served Batman a glass that was too cold and well, things just have a habit, don't they? Sure thing, I'd love a glass of warmed up water. Batman, are you gonna let me drink this water all alone? No, I'll have a glass of that special warmed up Alfred water myself. Before I go out and fight Mr. Freeze and Clayface again, I'm gonna need to be hydrated. Are you sure you wouldn't want your water in a saucer, Catwoman? No. My mistake. I will be right back. Catwoman and Batman wait for Alfred to come back with water in real time. Alfred re-enters the room with three glasses of water on a tray. It's been a long day, so I thought I might join you all in drinking water. Why don't you go rustle up another glass and Bruce Wayne while you're at it? I'd love to see him <laughs> drink water. Master Wayne, um, he's been preoccupied because he lost a doctor's referral he needed to have for his appointment tomorrow. It's very important. It's out of network, you understand? He is trying to get his insurance company to make an exception. Well, how do you like that? I might be warming up to Bruce Wayne after all. <clears throat> That woman chugs her water and places the glass back on Alfred's tray. Wow, you drank that water fast. You better drink your before it, I assume water. Um, you better drink your before it gets too cold and hurts your teeth. Before I forget, here's the web address of a place where you can buy these disposable hand warmers. HTTP colon backslash backslash www. Those are forward slashes. <laughs> forward slash, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They should, yeah. Can you w. start again because I'm kind of losing my place in the script. From the top or from the yeah, HTTP? From just, just, to, just from the top, <coughs> the, the HTTP. Just so you know, you got five minutes. All right, okay, we're, all right. We're, we're going to make this happen. colon forward slash forward slash www.handwarmersforcoldhands.gotham.dcuniverse.com. That's, that's just the end of the sentence. Oh, okay. Dot DC Universe. Yeah, Period. like that's the Period. that's the dot net dot gov dot, yeah. Adios, boys. Cat Catwoman flies away using her special wingsuit. What a remarkable woman! Indeed, Master Wayne. Best drink your water. Alfred, this gives me an idea. What if I pour hot water on the whole city? Not that hot. Not that hot. More like very warm. All of Gotham. I don't know how to do how I'll do it. But what if I do it? It could get rid of Mr. Freeze and Clayface at the same time. Before you dump hot water all over everyone, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me, before you dump hot water all over everyone, ask yourself, is it what they need, Master Wayne, or is it what you want? Batman takes a bite of the stinky age egg sandwich. Blackout. Very good. And... Pretty amazing. I felt like uh, I sort of ascended to a higher place with that one. And uh, I don't know if uh, I feel bad for Cricket. I feel bad because I don't think okay. she, can, she can find her way there. That's great. And it's time for Robbie's questions. Um, this is a time for chat to be asking Robbie questions about his script um, so that they can uh, have all the information that they need when they, but they want to be smart uh re well-researched voters let's see what they're saying uh shark farts says i like how he likes his hands to be small and warm relatable as fuck yes absolutely everyone knows that when batman's hands get cold they swell up and i feel like that's something that's often overlooked in batman uh comics and movies yeah. these days so I, it was important for me to get that detail in there great Sort of like when uh, a secret villain shows up and it turns out to be a villain that you kind of knew about, but for some reason is more powerful. Um, shirt, S-H-U-R-T, Shirt, Ro says, Robbie, did you consider any other villains? I did consider uh, two villains, Firefly and uh, Poison Ivy, but to me, the combination of Clayface and Mr. Freeze was so, un done, was so rarely done that it had to be them together okay one more question um uh what why did catwoman have that gun catwoman had the gun because she was planning to kidnap bruce wayne with the gun it's a snub nose revolver and everyone knows that that's what killed bruce wayne's family so it was sort of a symbol of that 
in addition to being a kind of active moment for her to enforce what she thinks as a law that she that is her exceptions to the law okay okay now last i said that was last question but i have one last question which is Mm -hmm. uh which is uh uh, what, why do you think uh, Emo Kidio wants to know why do you think we should vote for your script I think you should vote for my script because it's shorter than crickets and also uh, it, at, the, at, the, at the it got all of the points that it was supposed to get and also uh, Batman's dialogue uh, had a, a number of issues where people weren't reading the words that they knew would have been there if you were uh, Batman. I hadn't it didn't matter. You were and, that man. And it didn't matter what people are saying now because I think okay. people were scuttling. Okay. We're attempting to okay. sabotage. Great, great. great. All right. That's that's great. Robbie, you're about just about out of time. Thank you, chat. That was Thank those you, were great. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Please those vote great for me. Questions. Please vote, I will, vote for Batman Future Imperfect because it's the best script. It's the best. We had the best I, time. I will say that. Downhill script, from here. Your script did have all the rules in it. And I will also say, though, that there were many words that were that we're missing from it so yeah but that's not uh here that's neither here nor there i dropped something oh there well okay in the time that ben's getting the thing that he dropped i'd like to also just no. plug the script and plug that batman uh finds he, he goes through the entire arc he goes he starts okay. with him okay. breaking we're the good. table Robbie? and then by Robbie? the end he has little air hands okay now it's time for cricket script um uh, so it's cricket script time. Cricket, take it away. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you so much for the honor. Um, my script is called Make New Friends But Keep the Old. Uh, it's written by me, Cricket Erison. Robbie, I would like you to play the character of Batman. Oh. Yeah. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. Jen, I would love if you would reprise your really wonderful turn as Catwoman. I was hoping. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Ben, I would love it if you would read directions. Robbie, I should say you're going to be playing young Bruce Wayne, old Bruce Wayne, and Batman. Uh, Cricket, I think that that uh, should not. I think we should count some points against Cricket because that's three they're, characters. They're There's all only they're all one character. Okay, no, okay, that's all one. We're okay. We're okay. That's what Jen, Selena, oh. Kyle, and Catwoman. You understand? Oh, and that's I will the same be, thing. I will be reading the roles of old Alfred and young Alfred, and um. I'm ready, so take it away, Ben. This is uh, okay. Make New Friends But Keep the Old. Okay, very excited. Okay, interior Wayne Manor. Alfred stares down a hallway that looks miles long. The camera tilts, showing the vertigo that this fragile old man feels as he gazes down it. He's carrying a silver tray laden with junk, bomb detonators, a two liter bottle of tequila, a few stray pearls covered in blood, moldy food, a VHS copy of The Remains of the Day, starring Anthony Hopkins. As we see him struggle to walk, we hear in voiceover. I remember a time when walking meant doing one thing. It meant, quite simply, walking. I could walk without thinking about it. I could walk while I did other things like fetch Master Wayne his little slippers or fetch Master Wayne a nice pudding for his dinner or once he got older, I could fetch Master Wayne a big, big gun that hurts people very badly but never kills them. Now it's all all different. different. It's it's still my line. Now it's all different. I can't just walk. I have to do a whole list of things just to take one step. One, lift right foot. Two, don't fall. Three, move right foot forward. Four, set it down. Five, breathe. Six, lift left foot. Seven, don't fall. Eight, move left foot forward. Nine, set it down. Ten, breathe. I knew people slowed down as they got older, but I didn't know slowing down meant this, this fragmentation of one glorious whole into small and excruciating parts. All right. So (laughs) Alfred Teeters lets out an agonized gasp and falls to the ground, landing in a puddle of tequila and broken glass. It's Alfred in a puddle, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, opens the door at the end of the hallway. He's 25 years old and naked and hot, hot, hot like a gym man. 
Next to him, a towel wrapped around his waist is a much younger Alfred, also 25 years old, slimmer, not hot like Bruce, but hot like how it's kind of hot when a pale man with red lips dies of consumption. <laughs> they glisten with evidence of lovemaking. <laughs> Oh no, old Alfred got out. Here, let's help him. Helping people is when what... Helping people is what people who are good and strong and don't need help do for people who do need help. People who need help aren't always good, but they often are good. But off, but they are all weak. It's strong to help. I'm strong. Let's help old Alfred. Yes, I love to help. As the young Batman and young Alfred approach, old Alfred gets more and more agitated. Off with her head! That's Bingo. all he can say now. I guess it's sad. Once again, we hear old Alfred in voiceover as he flounders on the floor. Time speeds up. I can see her galloping away, and I am stuck on step two. Don't fall. Don't fall. Young Bruce Wayne bends over and picks up old Alfred. Just then, young Alfred slaps himself in, slaps himself in the face hard. Bruce, remember when we programmed my nubile young body to slap myself in the face when a message was coming into the Batcave? Yes, of course I remember everything. Ever since I uploaded my aging consciousness into this young body that everyone thinks is hot, and your aging consciousness into that young body that only high school drama kids think is hot. <laughs> and thank God I did drama in high school. Do I have to Bru my Bruce, no, I'll read it. Bruce slaps young Alfred on the ass. I did it because... Gotham needed me too. And by the way, otherwise I would have no interest in dangerous experiments that tamper with the laws of nature. I want to be clear that I am not God, I am Batman. Great. Well, a message just came into the Batcave, God, B -B Batman. Words appear on young Alfred's arm. He rips off that piece of skin and holds it out to young Bruce Wayne, whose hands are full of old Alfred. Bruce looks back and forth between the old man in his arms and the glowing message written on his lover's skin. He makes a decision. For Gotham. Bruce Wayne drops old Alfred on the floor and grabs the message. Old Alfred lets out a strangled scream. Down the hallway, a door pops open. We see old Bruce Wayne stick his head out. What's this noise and where's my egg sandwich? Is that a stinky egg sandwich? Okay, everyone ignores old Bruce Wayne oh. except old Alfred, whose eyes roll wildly in the direction of old Bruce Wayne's voice. I do want to say, though, that somebody handed something to Batman and us both as arms were full. Oh, oh. Yeah, sorry. but this egg sandwich doesn't seem stinky. Hey, well, some we don't authors know. The like eggs, the egg sandwich subtlety. Might, the egg sandwich might be stinky. We just need to see it in the writing. Yep. Um, okay, <laughs> old Alfred. Off with her head. My God, young Alfred, it's an invitation to a charity ball to help pay for Arkham Asylum's new shark guards. The most dangerous inmates will entertain us with a game of Russian roulette. But Comish Gordo is worried that old shark guards are jealous of the new shark guards and have switched sides. But young Bruce Wayne, if the shark guards switch sides, that could be dangerous. Yes, it would be. And young Alfred, I want you to know, I wouldn't go to the ball if I, if I, if I weren't... Wor Yes, it would be. And young Alfred, I want you to know I wouldn't go to the ball if I weren't worried about everyone's safety. It's not for fun. I hate balls with a few meaningful exceptions. Young Bruce Wayne swats young Alfred on the balls. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Having fun is weak, and I'm strong like shark guard. But I'm not a shark guard because inside me I'm good like a gentle mama deer in the forest. M muzzling her fa nuzzling her fa nuzzling her nuzzling Puzzle it. Robbie, could you take that line from the top? Having fun is weak and I'm strong like a shark guard, but I'm not a shark guard because inside me I'm good like a gentle mama deer in the forest, muzzling her fawn in the dappled glades of spring. You always did have a way with words. I don't know what you mean and I hate what you just said. Let's go to the ball. Interior Arkham Asylum. Yay, the asylum is decked out for a ball. In the distance... In the distance, bang! Inmates play Russian roulette. There it is. <clears throat> Shark guards surround them to make sure they don't shoot anyone else. Around the guards, Gotham's glitterati rain cash upon the game and yell at the inmates with glistening, piggish lips. Bruce Wayne enters dressed in a tux. I'm not having fun. I won't have fun. It isn't fun. I'm not having fun. I won't have fun. It isn't fun. I'm not having fun. Suddenly, Bruce Wayne's Bruce, suddenly Bruce's eyes alight on Superman, who is constrained by a magical chain that wraps around his waist. 
and is anchored to a single point in the middle of the ball. Like an angry fly, he buzzes above the party in circles. Dancing couples dodge the rattling chain as it cuts through them. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> no, not I'm not having Robbie, fun. Robbie, Robbie, what, what? What? You're a fine actor. You're a fine actor. Yeah, you say this line. You're you're phoning it in, and it's not yeah. going to get you far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Robbie. Imagine, <laughs> imagine Bruce Wayne is seeing Superman tied up. Part of him wants that, and he's giving into that part. Okay, Get, just right, say on. the line. Right. That's on. a oh, picture. That's, that's just a that's picture of my super- girlfriend. Hold on. Okay, okay, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> oh my, no, not, I'm having fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do that line. <laughs> no, I'm feeling... Oh my, no, no, I'm not having fun. <laughs> but I want to do it. I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, stop, Robbie. Okay. okay, all the lights go out and a single spotlight appears at the top of the beautiful staircase that it's, that it's weird to have in an asylum, but oh well. At the top of the stairs is Selena Kyle. She is around 85 years old, but because women are beautiful at any age, she's still very fuckable. Bruce, 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 Bruce. You show up now? We're already about halfway through. Go ahead, Robbie. Robbie. Oh, we're halfway halfway through. through. Oh, uh, shit, it's her. Okay. This is a perfect spot to, to have a, a pause for a mid-script break. Oh, huh. Let's check in how the script is going so far, Cricket. I uh, there you're not checking a lot of the rules off the list yet. Okay, we I had eggs. We had egg sandwich that wasn't particularly stinky, and it didn't get. Uh, is that what do you what do you what do you feel here? Ben, I just want to say I'm not worried. I don't want you to be worried. I don't want to be anyone watching at home to be worried. I do want Robbie to be worried because let's just say the script checks all the boxes. Okay. Jen, I want to say I know you haven't had many lines yet, but there's cool stuff for you coming up. Hang in there. I love you. Um, love the fans at home. Um, really hoping people are seeing Alfred as a little bit more of a complex character than in Robbie's script. Um Maybe seeing Batman's complex relationship with fun and Gotham and duty. Um, I like how horny and gay he is in this one. So that's, yeah. thank you for uh, that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Anytime. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, great. So uh, Shark Farts says that they liked the shark guards. Thank you. Um, classic Stupid Tom says, Cricket, you're doing amazing. Thank you. Um, Sage says, this is kind of horny. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I like to think of it as as kind of tingly. The egg sandwich was, in fact, someone says the egg, the egg sandwich was disgusting, but it didn't say it was disgusting. But, so we'll just, we're going to wait to see. But we need to move along. We need to get going back into Cricket Script. She's doing such a great job. Let's not slow it down. Uh, we've got about nine minutes. Okay. okay, here we go. Robbie, from your line, shit, it's her. Cat shit, it's her. Ha, 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 all right, Bruce Wayne pounds the table with his fist. It breaks in half. Two shark guards appear at, at the ruckus, menacing him. He whips out a can of shark repellent and shows it to them. They are not threatened and move closer. Bruce pulls out a Sharpie and writes guards under shark on the can, so it now says shark guards repellent. The shark guards whimper and fall back. This is weird. Bruce. Do you get it? I got you get it. it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce. Selena? Selena. Selena? Oh, sorry, my mind. That's mine. Somehow, although neither of them has moved, they are now slow dancing cheek to cheek. Young Alfred glowers in the background. It's wrong what you did. You're going to have to narrow that down for me. Uploading the two of you into these young bods. Gotham needed me to. Explain it to me. People need a symbol. Go on. That's it. People need a symbol. What about the people whose bodies you use to make your symbol? I feel bad about that. Just because it feels bad doesn't mean it is bad. Wait, I'm sorry. I I said that backwards. If something feels bad, it's probably bad. Everything feels bad. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, Cricket's line uh, negated her actual line, the point line. So that's it. Doesn't say that she has to no, read it; it just says she no. has to say it. I, Robbie, you shouldn't you shouldn't editorialize Cricket's Stay in script. Stay character. Yeah, you need yeah it. she's 
Cricket stayed in character for you. Cricket stayed in character for your script, Robbie. No, she didn't. It, you, you should stay in character for hers. She did a really beautiful British accent for. Alfred. Yeah, I know. Okay, I feel. Just, I, hey, hey, look, we're burning. I don't need you to. Can I, I don't need you to. Can I get a red card? Am I allowed to request a red card? That seems That's completely right. yeah, okay. unnecessary. Go, right. ahead. Okay. go ahead. Uh, go ahead. I believe it's Jen's line. I used to be like you, except that I was nothing like you. I looked at a broken world and saw that every action requires a choice. No one guiding principle can tell you which choice to make ahead of time. It's just you, in the moment, looking at the evidence of your own beating heart. But you, you decided in advance. You said that one choice was enough for every single decision. You made the Batman choice. And I, I made the Catwoman choices. Jellical choices. And I changed my name to Catswoman to emphasize that I contain a multitude. But you, you will always just be Batman, never Batsmen. God, she's such a chavvy slag. <laughs> you know I can understand you, young Alfred. All cats are British, remember? We smash cut just for a second back to Wayne Manor. Old Bruce Wayne has crawled down the hallway towards old Alfred. As they lie on the floor, old Alfred takes a moldy egg salad, hell yes, egg salad sandwich in his gnarled hands and feeds the uh, f- and feeds bites off it to old Bruce Wayne who gums it with his toothless jaws. Now, quick question, that's kind of like a bird chews it and then spits it in someone's mouth? No, uh, Alfred's taking little pieces of it and like making them little gotcha. balls with his fingers and putting okay. them in. Smash cut back to the ball, suddenly through the soaring and beautifully made stained glass windows that the asylum has for some reason. A team of new shark guards swings in on repelling repelling lines breaking the windows and pouring glass fragments onto the terrified multitude below. Oh no, something has gone horribly wrong at this charity event. No, you idiot, that was part of the plan, to introduce the new shark guards with flair. So you're telling me that so far nothing has gone horribly wrong at this charity event? Oh, whoa, take it back. I take back the dang. Oof. Drat. Drat. What about... What about that? Bruce Wayne points to the old shark guards, each of whom has grabbed a rich citizen of Gotham and is holding their shark jaws open right near their throats. Now that's what I call something going horribly wrong at a charity event. All right, got to give it to you. Got to give it to you. He brought it back. Take out. (sighs) Young, Young Alfred turns around to see if Bruce and Selina heard the cool thing he said, but they're gone. Then he turns around again and sees that they are each swinging in through the only two intact, priceless stained glass windows left in the asylum. They're in costume. Cat. Bat. Catwoman. Batman. Catswoman. No. Remember? Can we Batman? take that little exchange again, oh, shit. John? I think oh, wait. I, I got mixed up. I got mixed up. Just take it from the hey, top we, of the page. Oh, yeah. only got I missed that. Sorry. Okay, okay, so okay. Make, it, make it snappy. Make it jazzy. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. You start right. Bat. Catwoman. Catswoman, remember? Batman. Yes, I am Batman. During this exchange, the two of them have been completely surrounded by old shark guards. This situation isn't a problem for me at all. Batman pulls his right earlobe. A ballistic missile shoots out of the top of his head and blows through the gilded, carved, baroque period dome that the asylum has. Oops, wrong one. Batman pulls his left earlobe. A harpoon shoots out the side of his head and flies in a perfect circle, going through the heads of all of the old shark guards surrounding them. I want to be very clear that I didn't kill them. Their own bad decisions killed them. I don't kill. This is exactly what I mean. You say you don't kill as a matter of principle, but you obviously do. No, I just explained that I do not. Catswoman puts her remarkably youthful head into her perfectly manicured hands. Then she looks up. She kicks Batman really hard in the chest. He flies backwards and crashes into a chocolate fountain. We were going to have fondue, but I guess now we're having fun don't. <laughs> you know what? That's so good. That's not even one of the rules, but you're That's getting that. So That's so good. That's fucking crazy. That's, you can't no, add add I, you, yeah, I, have, I guess you can, Robbie. Outstanding. That's pretty good. I'm going to pretend that you didn't say that and straight up ask you, why did you just kick me? Because my choices are free and based on instinct. Can I kick you back? I'm 85 years old. So if you kick me, it will kill me. So now you need to decide. If you don't kick me, I'll go free. 
But if you get to stick to, but you get to stick to your principles. If you do kick me, knowing full well that I'll die from it, you'll have to admit that you're acting out of what you want in this moment and not some vow you made years ago. Young Alfred, God's need, God, young Alfred, young Alfred, young Alfred, there young Alfred, Gotham. Go ahead, we need, come on, man, we only got two minutes. Young Alfred, God, Gotham needs me to kick this woman. Is it what they need, Master Wayne? Or is it what you want? There they we go. Need they need it. Every citizen in the room calls out some version of no, thank you, Batman, or we don't actually need you to kill her, or we're totally fine, thank you for your help with the shark guards, though. Fine. I need it. Batman kicks Catswoman and then runs really fast so that by the time she lands, he's caught her in his arms. Catswoman lies there dying. Batman slowly rocks back and forth, his worldview shattered and his own flaws on full display for all of Gotham to see. Young Alfred whispers, I'll always love you. And then melts down and becomes part of the very elaborate ancient Roman mosaic that tiles the floor of the Arkham Asylum. Back at Wayne Manor, old Bruce Wayne and old Alfred have died, entwined in each other's arms and covered in egg and pearls. The end. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That's way awesome. to go, Cricket. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was wow. incredible. All right. Now it's qu- now it's Cricket's questions time. Cricket's questions. Um, let's go to the chat. I think uh, Cricket got that extra point, as you saw, um, for that fond don't line was pretty cool. And I believe that she ch- she checked off all of the rules. I think um, so. I think she did. I told uh, you not to be worried. Let's see what the chat has to say. Uh, DJ NDO says, uh, where where is Robin? What about the other superheroes that didn't invite Batman and Catwoman? Is it true that Catwoman gave Batman... Well, I don't have to read the rest of this. Uh, Robin <laughs> is skiing in Tahoe. Um, I'm glad that you asked. And the other superheroes that didn't invite Batman and Catwoman, I'm not sure. I mean, we're all not getting invited to almost everything at every moment. Well, I The would percentage also... of things that we get invited to in our lifetimes is so small that you can't even measure it. So I wanted to channel some of that into the script. Um, okay, great. So uh, let's see. And uh, Someone says that uh, Lunar Pangolin says, I feel like Cricket had the superior fic. Um, oh, Cat Sox wants to know, this would be the last one, how did Alfred get skin messages power? Oh, it was just something that when Bruce Wayne was uploading the consciousnesses into their young bodies, he put these really painful skin grafts under young Alfred's skin so that when he needed to get messages, he wouldn't have to carry something. Because um, it's canon that Alfred hates, young Alfred hates carrying things, which is why there's a contrast between him and old Alfred who loves carrying things. Okay. Again, that's canon. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, okay. Okay. So thank you, Cricket. That was that was fantastic. Uh, it's a very exciting part of the show where ch- chat you get to decide now uh, which one you liked better. So you put up we're putting up the URL, but you're going to go to tinyurl.com/fanficsd. That's tinyurl.com/fanficsd. That's tinyurl. What's that? Can I vote or is that not cool? You can vote. You can vote. No, one, just, you know, it's a free country. TinyURL.com slash FanficSD. Go there right now. We're going to keep the polls open. And meanwhile, while the polls are open, we're going to do, as quickly as we can, the costume contest. Now, we asked people to send in homemade costumes of uh, homemade um, Batman costumes they did in their home and send us pictures of them. We're going to we're going to sh- we're going to show a slideshow of those now, and then we're going to have our special guest, Jen Wozner, vote on which costume was the best. So let's see those right now. Bathroom and Robin. Oh my God! Amazing. Wow, that's unsettling. It is really good. It is quite good. That's fantastic. Love that one. It's a nightmare. All right, next. Nice, Benjamin. Way to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very Catwoman good. can't argue with that. Classic. Yeah. All right. I don't know what's happening here, but tra- it's a tra- it's a garbage bag. And okay. Looks, I think this is really this one's a, got a lot a lot of heart. It's Next. a good effort. It's he a great put himself, effort. Himself uh, right by the the lamp, the ceiling lamp uh, for the horns of Batman. So no, I, I mean I think the yeah. the door opening in your environment. I think is the, important. The background of this picture is really beautiful, honestly. Yeah. 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 All right. It's a next. contrast with Batman's dark. Next. 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 
All right. Ooh, scarecrow. Oh, God. Wow. Emily and Joe. Nice job. That's terrifying. Yeah, this is incredible. See, I, yeah, okay. I don't know if you can see it, but those, the ammunition, that's tampons. So, oh, wow. Yeah. And that, that it depends on the hand. And the, the mask is truly scary, which I think is, is pretty cool. And Scarecrow in the movies has a, a really fuckable mouth. And also, right. my, my script was like a story for Batman and Crick's was like porn. All right, next, next. <laughs> Mr. Free. <laughs> Wow, that's outstanding. Really Do we get extra points when someone dresses up as a character from our Batman script? Because no, I, because so everyone has the same not... characters. No, well, because I had Mr. It's... Freeze in mind. No, All right, you next, Robbie next had Mr. picture. Freeze. If he means that, he should have that point. Well, I think I should. Yeah. All right, Robbie gets a point. Okay, that's... Matt, Mad Hatter, pretty good, pretty, Big pretty hat. clever. Big hat, for sure. Very Love cool. that. We got a little Devo hat in there. Okay, next. Whoa. All right, person kind of went wild in Photoshop. Pretty cool. Wow. Um, love it, new joke. Oh, and they also put their 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 Twitter at, which is uh, which I didn't even do. So they're do I get points for that? They're promoting themselves better than you got to respect the hustle are. on that one. Yeah, for sure. Right, they're soaking up all the followers. What do we get? This sucks. Grinya, right. Batman. Okay, that's pretty pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. Uh, I also like the background of that photo. It's very sad. All right, <laughs> next. Ooh, oh wow! Clever. It's kind of a sideshow really... to kind of show how it was done. Yeah. Kind of magic. Oh. All right, next. All right, okay. Someone's kind of re re formatted a CPAP machine to be kind of like Bane's mask. So you know when they're like, "What happens if I pulled this mask off?" and he and he goes, "It would be very painful." Uh, do you it's want me kinda... to do my Bane impression? No. Nope. Cricket goes nope. to get any points for that. Nope. Um, <laughs> all right, next. All right, Mr. Freeze. Do I get two sure. points for two Mr. Freezes in the fan? Uh, yep, Robbie gets, a, Robbie gets another point. I wow. destroyed you and you came back. I think the points you're rolling in, <laughs> yeah. I think that this is going to be a wash all for right. my script, Batman. Uh, all right, work. next. I used to live in a prison. I was in a prison uh, for okay, most we've got of a, my life. It's midnight now. We've got to move along. So, Jen, what, who's the winner? It's a really tough call. They were all really incredible costumes with one notable exception that I won't mention. But uh, I got to say, man, uh, that that Robin in the bathroom was really unsettling. Wow. And, and I was somewhat aroused as well. So also, I feel like I have to go with, with that. That's Also known as Bathroom and Robin. Way to go, Benjamin. Bathroom and Robin really, really did it for me. So. You win our respect. And can we get some, can we and get some, some, uh, what, what emo should we get in the chat for, in honor of Benjamin? Just some claps. Let's get some claps in the chat. Okay. Good Fantastic. Job, now, uh, the polls are still open. Guys, go to these polls, tinyurl.com slash fanfic SD. Vote for your favorite script. If you didn't see the scripts at all, just vote for who you like better, Cricket or Robbie. So, Okay, now I'd just like to say, Jen, it was so awesome having you, and it was so wonderful. Um, and are you ready, Jen, for the surprise Batman quiz? Oh, no. No, I'm not ready at all for the surprise so Batman here's, quiz. Here's okay. how it here's how it works. If you, yeah. you have, if you get two out of three right, okay. you're welcome back on the show. Okay. If I'm not going to. I forget if, everything that I you, see. If you don't. Okay. You are you are banished from the show forever. Oh, you can never return. No, you didn't tell me there was gonna be a quiz, Ben. It's because it's a it's surprise a, quiz. It's a surprise oh, quiz. All right, okay. well, I'll do my best. Is Here it we go. It's a great right? honor. No, you're gonna. It's gonna be intuitive. All right, bring it okay. up. Who's this? Um, that is Scrunch. Wrong. It, that is Man Bat. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that I checked out. Let's All see. right. Next. Who's this? Um, that is pectoral guy. No, no. it's cat it's catman. It's catman. Okay, I should have known. I see I see where this is going. Alright. Okay, next. Who's this? That's just like Wolverine who's dressed up as Batman. I feel like <laughs> that, that's that is somewhat true. This is That's a dark. Good guess. <laughs> this is Dark Claw. 
Dark Claw. He this is okay. the Wolverine yeah. Batman mashup from when Marvel and DC had a comic yeah. series where they, they battled each other. I stand by my my responses. I feel like those were good answers. Those were hey, you know what? Those were fantastic answers. But but unfortunately, you got zero out of three correct. So you are here here fourth. Uh, Banished from the show starting ah. literally now. So if you could please cover up your camera with your finger, oh, that would be great. Or okay. something. Okay. Just cover up your camera because you're actually not allowed on the show anymore because you actually just failed to Okay, quit. well, okay? sorry. And it's been fun. So, okay. Uh, all right. right. Apologies. Not Good luck. Cool. Do better next time. Good. It's weird Good because luck. I, at least Man Bat should have been uh, pretty right. obvious. Yeah. So it's, Good it's, luck, guys. Yeah. Good luck Thanks, to you. Jen. I, you it's can good. still hear me, but you can't see me. But I won't hey, say anything. It's kind of weird because I was just like saying you're banished from the show and you're still talking. So yeah, that's pretty great. Weird. Um, okay, let's just try to forget about Jen and that that Jen ever happened. So moving on. Oh, it's time to check out the it's time to check out the results. This is the most okay. fun part of the show for me. Well, I bet. Uh, yeah, because I know what how this is going to play Ooh. out. Because okay, we had people uh, enjoy pornography more than they enjoy. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I'm getting punished for giving future, people something I don't, to enjoy. That's, and I don't, that to me is a future up. imperfect. Shut the fuck up, you guys. Okay, so I don't know how to make this exciting. Uh, but the winner of, ten, of tonight's show is... Krabby Kit? Crack who? It's cricket. God damn it. We we had. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? You can't see it. It's impossible. There it is. That's the pie chart. God the red is cricket and the blue is Robbie. Thank you. We had I, 392 responses. So bless. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Well, I'd like to um, point I've out that I've been watching all of the Batmans, and I've been thinking about Batman a lot. And as I've been thinking about Batman, I've been thinking about all of you. So that's really awesome. Congrats. I'd also like to point out that I voted for uh, myself five times in the in the in the doc on the why survey. Would you, so why would you admit that? I because, didn't because okay. I lost. I don't. What do I have to lose? Can't it's just you sad. can't take away any of my points. I don't give a shit. Okay. All right. Listen. The, it's the end of the show. Cricket is the winner. We all give Cricket our love, and I also want to just say one next week, next Monday at the same time, we're doing Frasier. Frasier is our theme next week, so if you want to make a homemade costume and send it into us, send it to uh, fanficshowdown at gmail.com. Send your homemade Frasier costumes to fanficshowdown at gmail.com. We will have a costume contest. It won't be Jen. Jen will not be our uh, guest. Yeah, because it. I I could it. Jen? I Jen? I could because do it. She, she, Jen? Because she's been banished forever. She can never come back. Um, so, anyway... Leaving on leaving on this note, uh, congratulations, Cricket. Uh, Robbie, we'll see you next week. Cricket, we'll see you next Thank week you, with your Frasier scripts. Robbie, that's going to be your chance to really save face and, and show us all that you are the fanfic champion. Well, yeah, um, But Robbie's until that point, it is currently Cricket. And, uh, and again, as my second best friend, I'm just so proud of you, yeah. Cricket. And I love you, but I want to say we are all worthy of love. Okay? Thank you, Ben. Absolutely. Yeah, well... Bobby? Some of us uh, should go to hell for writing pornography. I, I was going to tell you that it was an honor even just to be on the same show as you. Um, and I still am because I do feel that way even though you were just me. Perfect. Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't, couldn't end it a better way. We'll see you guys next week for Frasier. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Cricket. Thank Bye. You, Thanks, Jen. Thank you. Bye. Thank Thanks, you, Chad. Thank you, Eric. Bye, Mr. Dean.